I will be talking about lists in Lisp. Man, say that three times fast. Um, so to make a list in Lisp, you can ah, that's gonna kill me. Um, you can either do you have to everything starts with the parentheses pretty much. You do parentheses list and whatever you want in your list. Um, that gives you list. You can also use the quote to do a list as well. There you go. Um, lists can be homogeneous, so you can have um, a string, um, a couple integers, and maybe another string. That works perfectly fine. Um, indexing with strings, um, or with sorry, indexing with lists, um, can we do? Can be done with um, car. So you do open parentheses car, and then your favorite list. Um, so car will get you the head of the list. Cdr will get you the tail of the list. Pretty straightforward. You could also combine the two. So say you want the second element of the list. You could do cd cadr and then your list you want. And there you go. Um, another interesting thing is you can't combine those the other way. So CADR works, but CDAR doesn't work. Um, so I've realized it kind of seems to be, I don't know, left associative, or sorry, right associative, I should say, or something it seems like, because it seems to go from the R and try and get the tail of R and then get the head of that, versus doing it from left to right, which would be get the tail and then get the head with the A versus the D. So that was an interesting thing I found. Um, you can also concatenate lists together using append. So if you use you just use append like you would in Prolog or something, um, you can put any number of lists here, um, and it will happily smash them all together. Um, you can also use concatenate. Um, I find it to be a little clunkier, mostly because you have to spell out concatenate, and then it has to take its first argument is what you're concatenating, I suppose. Um, I haven't played with it outside of lists, so you have to do concatenate list, and then you can do as you, you would use append and list your normal list you'd want to put together. So lists in Lisp also have a couple of higher order functions that go along with them. So their first one is called mapcar, so that does what you would expect map to usually do in Haskell or Prolog, you probably use find all, but Haskell is pretty similar. It takes this kind of awkward hashtag quote notation, and then you could do one plus whatever your favorite list is of integers, and that will add them to you. Um, however, I found out you can go through, and if you put a different number in here, it doesn't seem to like that as much, which seems kind of odd to me. Um, I don't understand why one would be any different than four. It should just add four to each of the numbers. That was a kind of strange functionality I found. Um, that I don't understand why. You can also, if you put a string, so if we change this back to a 1, so it should actually work, you put a string in this list, that doesn't work as well, because it can't, it still checks the types you're adding together. So it won't add, obviously, a 1 and a string. Also, when you air out of things, you have to do this colon R2 or R1 to change different things about what you're doing. Um, so you can also, Mapcar also works to um, add lists together. So you can map a, or I guess use an operator to put lists together. So you could say maybe you want to multiply both elements, or each element of two different lists. You could do star there, and then do your favorite lists here. Now let's do something 10, 20, 30. And it goes through and multiplies one by one, one times ten, two times two, three times thirty, um, and multiplies those together. So that's kind of nice. It's it's has some nice double functionality to it. Um, if you put another list in here, then I'm not sure what will happen. So let's try it. Um, actually, we should probably make sure it's the same number of elements. Oh, so it'll continually multiply them all together. If this doesn't have a third element, then it'll just give you the first two. That's interesting. So there's also the every function in 
Lisp. Um, every basically checks every element of the list um, exactly like it sounds and make sure it fits the condition. Um, so you have conditions even p, there's also odd p, um, which will check if every element in the list is even. And nil, because it's not even, but if we go through and maybe change this to a 6 and an 8, and it's true. Um, so there's no true and false, there's true and nil, which is a little strange, but I guess not too bad. Um, you can also do something like sum, um, which is not sum, it's som, so that checks if some of the elements are even, so this way you can have some odds back in here, um, and that'll say true, some of them are. And um, another cool um, higher order type function is remove if, um, and there's also remove if not, so remove if, uh, let's do remove if not, and that takes the same hashtag star, um, even p, and then your list. So that removes if it's not even, and it gives you the resulting list. And so the same thing, the opposite works if you do remove if even, and it gives you the odds. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, the other one that I found that's interesting is but last. Um, that will take a list of terms or and um, give you everything um, except the last one. So it's handy for getting everything up except the very last element of the list, which comes up more often than most people think. At least I found. There you go. So that was my small tutorial on lists in Lisp. Um, thank you for watching. I don't understand what the benefit, if there is one, of using concatenate versus append is. Um, I'm assuming there's some reason because they kept both of them in there. So I'm betting. I wonder if. Let's try something. Concatenate, um, maybe string. I don't know if this is going to work. And then do two strings. No, that does not work. Oh, because I forgot. Quote. And now I broke. Oh, wow, that does work. So, doing. Oh, okay, so defining what you're concatenating together works. So, I wonder. Let's try one more concatenate just for fun. If we do maybe int and concat one and two, there, this, this should not work. Okay, that's good. That would have been weird if that worked.